It is a major that includes so many subjects that students are interested in, and you are able to study them in the context of an interdisciplinary major and come out with a stronger major than if you had just studied that one subject um, in a more traditional way. Do I pick political science or history? I love them both. What do I do? Uh, I love international relations. Do I pick that or you know, do I go with political science? And what we've done is really just eliminated the need to make that decision. You know, they could do international relations and take the political science courses that are relevant, take the history courses that are relevant, the economics courses, it's all there. You should do what you care about and are interested in um, and the interdisciplinary major allows you to do that in some really interesting ways. We sort of allow students to sit down with an advisor and discuss career plans, goals, um, basically you know what that student would like to get from his or her education and we help put together um, a curriculum that is academically challenging and interesting and meeting the needs of, of that individual student. I think students find that it's, it's, it's liberating, it's uh, kind of limitless and boundless in terms of what can be done with it. A major like this, where it is interdisciplinary in nature and yet individually designed, I think um, what our department is doing is so much better than what I was able to do way back in the old days um, when majors were so rigid. Humanities give you that background so that no matter what you are going to do in your life, um, you will be a better person and be able to meet the opportunities that come to you when you graduate from college. I think that it's very easy for students to get caught up in what's going to happen after graduation, that they have to get a job right away um, and that so much of that job is tied up in the major. Um, and that it needs to be practical and understandable. I, I know that interdisciplinary humanity sounds very big and amorphous, uh, but the reality is you need to train yourself for the world. You don't know what people are going to need in the future, and getting that broad base in the humanities is going to be extraordinarily useful. It's a fabulous place to study the humanities because of the talents of the professors in the department, the fact that we're near Boston, so we are near cultural centers, and therefore there are many opportunities for students to gain a rich experience here at Regis studying the humanities. And students ask all the time, what can I do with the humanities? And it's such a hard question answer because really I want to ask, well, what can't you do with the humanities? 